Andy, do, can you um, do we have evidence of of water ice or ice on other asteroids uh, other than Ceres? A, a little further out from uh, the sun than where Ceres is. So Ceres is at like 2.7 times the Earth's distance from the sun. Uh, when you get out to like 3.1, 3.2 times Earth's distance, you can start to have ice be um, stable at the surfaces for a little while of, of some objects. And we did find a couple years ago on a, uh, an asteroid called uh, Themis, asteroid number 24, um, evidence of ice on its surface, an ice frost. Um, uh, and Themis is part of an asteroid family, so uh, the original body was, was maybe about half the size of Ceres. It got pounded by a big impact, and, and Themis itself is the largest, uh, the asteroid 24 is the largest remaining remnant. Um, and some of the other smaller members are actually some of these main belt comets. So it all hangs together that, that the original body had, had plenty of ice, or at least had enough ice, uh, that that it, it exists today on the surface of Themis and as some of these main belt comets. Um, we've also seen ice a little further out uh, from Themis, so out at, you know, once once you get out to 3.3, 3.4, 3.5 or 3.5 times the Earth's distance, um, you we, we see ice more commonly on those objects. And then, of course, once you get far enough out to the distance of Jupiter, uh, the Jovian satellites, which are not asteroids, things like Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, those all, it, it's plenty cold, you can have ice on their surfaces, and we do see that. 